Congratulations on your interest in quality cookware. Now you can improve the way you cook and the way you and your family eat with waterless cookware. If someone were to ask you to name one of the smartest investments you can make, who would have thought you would ever say cookware? Not only is this cookware a great investment in your family's health, but you'll never have to buy cookware ever again. Let's talk about healthy cookware. For years, you've probably been cooking with conventional pots and pans like these, made of aluminum and cast iron. Or maybe you use glass or porcelain cookware. But there are hidden dangers lying within these conventional types of cookware. The very elements that make up these types of cookware, like copper, teflon, and aluminum, are scraped and cooked right into the food you eat. Cast iron is the most porous of cookware. These pores open up when heated and close when cooled down. This means that food particles can remain inside the cooking surface, even after washing, which can cause food poisoning. Some glass cookware contains lead, which can find its way into your food. Some brands of cookware, when heated, can emit fumes. And as stated in their instruction booklet, these fumes can be harmful to pets and humans. But this quality waterless cookware is made with a superior seven-ply construction that combines the heat conduction of aluminum with the sanitation and durability of stainless steel. The outer layers are made of a non-porous surgical stainless steel with titanium, one of the most durable materials known to man. The inner layers are comprised of pure aluminum, aluminum alloy, and ferretic steel, which yield a cookware unequaled in efficiency. Temperatures conduct evenly and instantly, thanks to the thermal core, so the sides stay as hot as the bottom of the pan, providing much faster cooking times. The lids of this cookware have thermostat valves, similar to a whistling tea kettle, that assure you of an ideal cooking temperature without ever having to touch the food or lift the cover. When the proper temperature is reached, the valve will whistle, notifying you to close the valve and turn your heat down or off. The unique design of the lids forms a water seal, therefore creating a vacuum environment for your foods to cook in. And cooking in a vacuum requires less time. Overall, you will find your cooking times will decrease by one-half to two-thirds of the normal cooking times. Tight-fitting covers and the water seal permit cooking with less water and without fats, oils, or salts. This cooking method enhances the flavor, nutrition, and appearance of your food. By making the change to waterless cooking, you're making a change towards a longer and healthier life. The Surgeon General reports that two-thirds of all deaths are diet-related and that salt and fat are the two worst dietary elements. In fact, the average American consumes 15 pounds of salt per year, which leads to high blood pressure, kidney problems, and heart disease. This tape will show you how to cook without fats, oils, and salts. It will also demonstrate how to retain the natural vitamins and minerals in your fruits and vegetables. This waterless cookware not only provides a healthier way to cook, but it helps save time and energy as well. In these days of hurried meals and busy cooks, these features are important considerations and advantages. Each unit is quick and easy to clean, and it will never require more than a medium-high heat setting. Also, the Dutch oven can often be used in place of a full-size oven, which will definitely reduce monthly electric and gas bills. This cookware comes to you direct from the factory with an instructional cookbook and a lifetime warranty. Before using this cookware, it's important to remove any remaining manufacturing oils and polishing compounds to avoid discoloration of the cookware when it's first heated. Prepare hot soapy water and add two cups of vinegar. Thoroughly clean all the surfaces of every pan and lid with a sponge. Vinegar won't be necessary after this initial cleaning. Or if you have a dishwasher, simply run the cookware through a normal wash cycle. To cook fresh or frozen vegetables, brush and scrub the vegetables thoroughly. Use a vegetable peeler when necessary and pare the skin as thin as possible. Rinse the vegetables in cold water, but don't let them stand in water because it may dissolve away some of the vitamins and minerals. Cut the vegetables into pieces. Place them in a pan that they most nearly fill. Add three ounces of water with the poaching cup provided. Turn the heat to medium high. Open the thermostat valve. Cover the pan and place it on the burner. To check that the temperature is correct, simply spin the cover. 
If it doesn't spin freely, add one tablespoon of water around the rim of the pan. When the pan begins to whistle, close the valve and turn the heat off. Most fresh and frozen vegetables should stand covered for 15 to 20 minutes on the burner. But even with the heat turned off, they'll continue cooking. Cooking vegetables with a more solid consistency, like potatoes, beets, sweet potatoes, rutabagas, turnips, and fresh string beans, may require slightly longer cooking times. Also, when the pan begins to whistle with these vegetables, close the valve and turn the heat setting to low. With waterless cooking, it's not necessary to constantly check and stir your food. In fact, lifting the cover breaks the water seal, which is what makes waterless cooking work. In the event that you must break the water seal and check your food, replace the lid quickly and reform the seal by reopening the thermostat valve and turning the heat back to medium-high. When the pan whistles again, close the valve and turn the heat back down to continue cooking. When it comes to preparing meats, the conventional cooking method has required the use of salt, fats, and oils. Oils contain both saturated and unsaturated fats. Unsaturated fats, which come from vegetables, add calories. But saturated fats, which come from animals, can clog up your arteries and possibly lead to heart disease. But with waterless cooking, most meats can be cooked in their own natural juices, so there is no need to ever add salt, oils, and fats. When roasting larger cuts of meat like beef steaks, ham, lamb, pork, and veal, use either the Dutch oven, the oil core electric skillet, or regular large skillet. Most pan broiling and frying can be done in the oil core skillet or the regular skillets and saute pans. In order to preheat a utensil for cooking meats, use a medium-high setting for about three to four minutes. An easy way to check if the pan is ready is to add a few drops of water. If the drops beat up and roll around, then you're ready to cook. To roast large cuts of meat, place the fresh or defrosted meat in the preheated Dutch oven or large frying pan. The meat will stick at first, but will naturally loosen itself during browning as its own fats are released. When the meat is easily lifted with a fork, it is ready to turn. Turn the meat and brown it evenly on the other side with the lid completely closed and reduce the heat to medium. When the cover becomes hot to the touch, after about three to five minutes, reduce the heat again to low. Continue cooking to the desired degree of doneness, turning once during cooking. An easy rule to go by is to allow 15 minutes cooking time per pound of meat. With really large cuts of meat, it may help to use a meat thermometer. The cookbook and instruction sheet provide cooking time charts for stovetop roasting.